Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the CIA show. Oh, you've been asking where has it been? Where has it been? Well, um, I've well, let me just put this way. Just forgive me. Um, yeah, I got um, I got too busy with that way. Um, well, anyway, let's let's um, let's first of all for Christians, um, this is um, Easter Monday, first of April, two thousand and twenty-four. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Well, before I continue, please let me roll my intro. But before then, please like, share, subscribe to our channel. By this way, you are helping us, and um, you know, thank you for those that have been commenting. You know, both the negative and the positive. Um, this is a platform of people. This is a temple of learning. Um, we learn here every day. I'm not perfect, and um, I read your comments and I pick one or two things, you know, and then that helps me to, you know, um, to progress. And um, yes, we acquire more knowledge, you know, and tips here and there. Anyway, let me stop the rambling and let me roll to the intro. Let's go. Okay, thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Um, first of April, I want to talk about the 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 lady. Well, before you know, let's let me not talk about the lady now. But let me just say this: the war on illicit drugs cannot be won. It is a lost battle. But I'm not saying that the system or the government, you know, should not um, fight the war on drugs. But it has to take more effort and more resources. Now, the effort will then be, you know, um, education. You know, because first of all, the 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 effect on drugs. Is, is alarming. I've seen a couple of you know um, of victims of drugs, and when you see them, you know you 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 pity them. Put it that way. But before I go into the effects, you know, let me talk about this lady, a Nigerian who was on her way to Qatar and with her was some you know heavy dose of drugs heavy dose of drugs these are you call them merchants of death merchants of death so this woman was caught at the airport, you know, with her consignments. And to make the, the, to tell you how desperate these guys are. And first of all, the security agents, I mean, the, um, yeah, they did well. You know, some of, sometimes I believe they do sometimes, you know, um, they tend to polish their statements by saying the DSS after investigation, you know. I mean the Nigerian DSS and also. Well, it's their time to shine. But let me continue. So, this lady was caught heading to Qatar with some, you know, um, some kilos of drugs. And the security told us, the security agents told us that the they offered them five million naira. That's about one thousand. About roughly, I'll say two to three thousand pounds. I might be robust or something like that. Two to three thousand pounds to quash the you know. 
but the security agents refused and they made it public that was a good thing that was a good thing but remember the um the former police guy i've forgotten his name you know who was um the good cop who was parading himself in public as uh, the good cop but by the on the on the dark side he was dealing he was a dealer and he was caught oh remember the name um what's his name again the name is going off my head they call him oh I've forgotten his name now um i'll put the picture i've forgotten his name now um hush puppy that's him hush puppy and then uh, what happened um the man was sent to prison and then um, we've not heard anything well i think he was released and um, you know and uh, we've heard nothing else probably that's how the case would die off i'm trying to compare we have the good cops and we have the bad ones now these guys refused to take bribes and um, made it public on the other side the super cop they call him who was sent to prison you know as remand he wasn't sentenced he was sent to prison he was remanded came out for bail and we've had nothing ever since that's the system the war on drugs is an ongoing war and it is a lost battle now let me say this why do people venture into drugs it boils down to greed because if you are not greedy you will think twice before dealing on drugs yes it is not um it is not um it's not wrong to say that drugs is lucrative i might tumble my word down um, it's a good business in quotes because you make huge profits with little effort but if you flip the coin it affects lives now when you affect when i say it affects lives it destroys families people end up dying you know and uh, america is a good example where you see them on the road you know people hooked on drugs and their lives have been destroyed i made a video sometime i'll put the link i made a video in um sierra Leone where there was this drug they call um kush you know it, it they it, they've gone so far that they now look for dead bones they look for graves where they would dig up dead people use their bones to harness their drugs that's how bad it has become when i talk of greed because it's a quick way to make money you know people try to venture into it because they just need to make money by all means now let me come to the effect of drugs so when these people will take this when they take these drugs they get high yes they forget all their problems i would like you to watch the kush the one i made i'll put the link up there so these when you know when they take these drugs they tend to forget their sorrows you know the award they now it, sort of it's um the the effect on drugs you know and isolates them from the worries of that of their of their of their worries what did i say isolates them from their worries that's the right word and but it does not last because as a matter of couple of time just a little of uh, one hour two hours they come back to their normal and um, they want to go back to that feeling of isolation they take again 
the effect with you know um, um you know drops off they go again and before you know it the on and off on and off on and off they get hooked and it becomes an addiction and before you know it they sell their stores you know their houses their properties you know because they are hooked so by the time they've exhausted all their houses, the ladies would then go and sell themselves. Even the men, sometimes they go sell themselves. Because they need that flow of money in order to buy drugs to isolate them from their worries. But before you know it, they end up dying. I'll give you an example. I've seen some people on drugs and it is not a nice thing. Now, so you have people that snort drugs, some people smoke it, and some people inject it. But it affects them one way or the other. Now, those that take drugs, they end up dying because by the time because some of them they shoot you know those that shoot the thing on there so they will look for their veins they do push the thing there for the effects and before you know it their veins have collapsed and they go to their legs to continue and before you know it they've got a leg ulcer and when i talk of ulcer it is something unbelievable and before you know it either they chop their legs off or they drop dead this is just a quick summary. I will not, you know, it will take us a long time for not go into the effects on drugs. But what am I trying to say? This lady, you know, has been captured. But we know in Nigeria, just a matter of time, they might release her. Probably that five million they offered was too little for them. I don't know. But by the time this thing has been exposed now, probably to die off like the Super Cup, and we hear nothing about it again. Probably because they've upped their game. The 5 million naira, 2 to 3,000 will not be enough. Maybe they will up it or probably 50 million. And before you know it, the case dies. So drug dealing will be, sus will be sustained by greed by greed remember there's a guy in mexico the kingpin the 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 number one drug dealer then they call him um el chapo who was then who he was later you know um, sent to prison in america where he is at the moment but with all the money he had billions it was not enough you know, some will say, let me just make few quid, I'll just retire. But one thing with drugs, because it is an easy money, you know, they tend not to retire. Because the push is too strong. I will say this, beware of drugs. Beware of drugs. Beware of drugs. In Nigeria, it should be shady. Probably they will just, you know, um, do some arrangements and then um, it will die off there. But in other countries like Indonesia, they end up losing their lives. And many Nigerians are there. Many Nigerians are there. This came out, you know, good thing that it came out that the security system, the security forces, you know, apprehended this woman and then refused the bribe that was offered. But let's see what happens. But in Nigerian system, probably the case will die off. And before you know it, the woman will be out just like the super cop. I'll rest my case here. This is the CIA show. We analyze. We do interviews. They have not done one, but very soon. And we comment. This is Patrick. And have a good day. Peace.